what we understand. We understand when you leave here, you're going to do what you please. We about God's laws. Give me 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. To the rest of y'all sitting in these cars, listen up. Our people being gunned down in the street by the so-called white man. You got young men getting taken from their homes and murdered. Kawan Tone, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and the list goes on and on. Why are these things happening? Let's read. Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people, so wait, who is God's people? Who is God's people? We hear the Bible all the time. Who is God's people? We are. We are. Let's prove it. Exodus 3 and 10. We finna see who God's people are, then we're gonna see what God requires of his people. Because that's gonna explain to you why we going through what we going through. Because it's a God, right? Why is God allowing these things to happen to us? Let's find out who God's people is. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 3 and verse 10. Come now, therefore, and I will send thee unto Pharaoh, uh -huh. that thou mightest bring forth my people, the children of Israel. Who is God's people? Read it one more time. The children of Israel. So the children of Israel is God's people. That's right. The children of Israel are the black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. That's right. Go back to Second Chronicles. Now we gonna figure out if we are God's people, why are we going through what we going through? Read. Verse Second Chronicles, chapter 7 and verse 14. Uh -huh. if my people, which are called by my name, God's people are the children of Israel. Read. Shall humble themselves. What we gotta do? Humble themselves. The black Hispanics and Native Americans are not humble. Teach. We think we know everything. Brother, try to come teach you some knowledge. You don't want to hear nothing. We got to close our mouth, humble ourselves, and listen. Read. And pray and seek my face. And do what? Pray and seek my face. God said, close your mouth and seek my face. Come find me. That's what God said. Don't go to Christianity. Don't go to Islam. Don't go to drugs. Don't go to weed. Don't go to crack. Come find God. Read. And turn from their wicked ways. Read that last part. Do what? And seek my face. Uh -huh. And turn from their wicked ways. The black, Hispanic, and Native American man got to turn from their wicked ways. What's some wicked ways? We like to steal. We like to rob. Proverbs 1 and 10. If y'all watching the news, what's not in some little boys on the pink line, punching people and robbing them? Bring it up. Do not you got little boys all on the north side carjacking people? Jeez. What we just read in 2 Chronicles, God said, turn from your wicked ways. A lot of us is caught up in wickedness out here. If you out here robbing and stealing from people, you are in wickedness. If you gangbanging, you are in wickedness. If you out here trying to smash every woman you see, you are in wickedness. But I want to touch the stealing that's going on. Because I'm not going to act like I don't understand that we in poverty. But brothers, you stealing, robbing people, that's going to cause you to lose your life. Bring it up. Read. Here's the book of, here's the book of Proverbs, chapter 1 and verse 10. Uh -huh. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So, young men, you got your guys, you got your brothers you hang with all the time. God said if they come to you and try to persuade you, entice means to persuade. They try to persuade you to do what? If they say, come with us, let us lay and wait for blood. That's what them little boys was doing on the train. Lying and wait for blood. That's what them young men was doing on the north side. Lying and wait for blood. Brothers were so careless and vicious, they tried to contact a woman. Right. And they lucky she didn't hit the throttle and run them over. That's wicked. That is evil. 
We up here robbing and killing each other. Read. Let us work privately for the innocent without cause. A lot of y'all are lurking for the innocent without cause. Oh man, I'm out here. I'm on dummy. That's what y'all say. God said not to follow those people. Right. They tell you we gonna contact them, take the car and sell the parts. We gonna get 500 each. Young brothers, we are telling you don't follow them people. God is telling you not to follow them people. Right. Read. Let us swallow them up. A lie as the grave. Because that's what y'all doing. Y'all wanna overpower a woman, take her car, means of transportation God said you trying to swallow them up as the grave but what's gonna happen if y'all don't stop this robbing life read and hold as those that go down into the pit I got you brother I'm gonna deal with you we shall find all precious substance uh -huh. we shall fill our house with spoil that's what y'all say y'all say when we hit this lick when we hit this thing substance. You're going to get wealthy. But what's going to be the end result if y'all don't stop robbing? Read. Cast in the lot of, uh, amongst us. Jump down, get to the My son, walk thou not in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. Why? For their feet run into evil. God said, refrain your foot from their path. Don't follow nobody who bleeds to evil, who leading you to go rob and steal. Why? Read. And make haste to shed blood. Uh-huh. Surely in vain, the neck is spread into the sight of any bird. Now, my brother, step forward. Come closer. You, you knew of brothers coming up that probably used to rob, right? Yeah, yeah. What's the end result if you don't stop robbing? What's going to eventually happen? Be, be specific, be blunt. What's karma? I mean, get back, get back what you uh, sold out. Get back what you sold out? Yeah. I, don't, I think you're missing it a little bit. Usually, when you live that lifestyle of a robber or the stick-up man yeah. or poking people, whatever we like to call it here. Right, you get poked back? You get poked back or you come across somebody that's strapped too. Yeah. yeah. And get what? Killed. Right, right. That has happened multiple times here. Right. You had a brother a couple years ago ran up on somebody car trying to rob right. and got killed. Right. You had a brother in Roseland tried to rob a sister early in the morning. You probably heard about that. Right. Guess what? He had a gun, she had a gun too. Yeah. And he lost his life. Right. So that's why we come out here. We telling these young brothers. Leave that robbing life alone. Right. You gonna lose your life or you gonna go to jail for the rest of your life. Right. Not only is we saying that, the Bible says that. Read it. Yeah, yeah. Surely in vain, the net is spread in the sight of any bird. So God using an example. Right. When you trying to catch a bird, they got different snares and traps out there. God said you walking into a trap if you the robber. He ain't talking about the victim. Why? Because that could be your last steps you take, robbing people. Hey, I got a question. Go ahead. Hey, for the old, for, the old, for our elders, right? Uh-huh. How do we get them to, um, like, understand the word? What I mean by that is, like, like if, do you have physical evidence to show them? Yes, we do. We have physical evidence. All right, okay. Here's the thing, though. Give me Job 32 and 7. Here's the thing. We must humble ourselves and go back to the scripture that we that we just read. God was addressing all our people, our people on this side, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see yourself on there? Uh, I don't know. I mean, you gotta look. Take a look. I mean, for me, for me, you talk about father's heritage, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I looked at it by your father, right? Right. So, all right. So, so, I don't really know. I only can go down to three. I only see three black people. Out him, I don't know who that is. There you go. See what I'm saying? That's a curse in itself. Hold that. Jeremiah 17 and 4. Bring it out! We can only go back so far in our lineage. Right. Why is that? Because the thing is, this is all our fault when you examine it. 
We didn't follow God's ways, so we've been stripped of our whole culture. Right. Read that. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Uh -huh. wow. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, uh -huh. and I will cause thee to serve thy enemy in the land which thou knowest not. Read it again from the top. Verse 4. We discontinue from our heritage. Right, right. Prime example, you ask any black man, what's your race? They will give you five different answers. Why? Read it again. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. We think our heritage is tattoos. We think our heritage is gangbanging some of us. We think our heritage is shaving our head bald. All these things we see other races do because we've been stripped of our culture. Why? Through slavery, this is when it happened. But that's God speaking. He said, thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage that what? That I gave thee. God gave us a heritage. But when you read this Bible, we went against everything God said and we still do today. Right. You know what's part of our heritage? Thou shalt not kill. That's a rule we're supposed to keep. Right. If we kept that in a black community, it wouldn't be no black on black crime. Right. Simple rule we can follow. Right. Marriage. If we kept the law of marriage, it wouldn't be no STDs. It wouldn't be no baby mama. Right. We don't know that because this, read it again, that I gave thee, and I, thyself. even thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Read on. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies. He calls us to serve our enemies. So a lot of times we hear about the history of us going on, on slave ships. It wasn't that we was weak. When you read the Bible, we ruled the earth. But God gave them power. God let them overcome us. Right. Do this to us. Because we didn't listen to him. So he said, you don't listen to me. I'm going to cause you to serve your enemies. Take a look at these images. That's us getting sold in slavery. Transatlantic slave trade, Sub-Saharan slave trade. Almost all these nations on the earth had us enslaved. But why? It ain't because they great. We got put in slavery because we disobeyed God. Right. Read that on. Thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. We got brought to a land that we knew not. We didn't know nothing about no Christmas, no birthdays, no Thanksgiving. That stuff got talked to us. They brought us over here, stripped us of our heritage. Think about that. You had how many years that we weren't able to read? So if you ain't able to read, you ain't able to study nothing. You're not able to remember things. Right. You don't go over things. You don't recite nothing. So they brought us down to a lower state. That's why today our people going nuts. They don't know who they are. We come out to teach our people who they are. But this is why they don't know. We've been stripped of our heritage. The next thing was, how do we make elders understand? This is what you got to understand about elders. Physical evidence. Here is some physical evidence here. We ain't make this ourselves. We come out here with books and everything. But what you got to understand about some elders is this. Job 32 and 7. Because I ain't forget that question. Read. It's the book of Job, chapter 32 and verse 7. Uh -huh. I say, they should speak. Days should speak. And multitudes of years should teach wisdom. Uh -huh. But there is a spirit in man. of the Almighty giveth them understanding. Read on. Great mans are not always wise. Come here, bro. I want to Stay with me, bro. Stay with me. Stay with me. I just want to know. Uh, I just I want I want I want to compound. When you hear Biden, look, hey, look. To get them to understand, like, when you hear Obama, right? People want to look at it like this. When you hear Obama, what did what did God or what did God say was a lie? And what did he say? My brother, read that, John. Right? That's what he did. Right. Okay. So when you do pass the law, verse seven, I say, 
They're right there. Days oh. should speak oh, and multitude of years oh, should teach. So the Bible said days should saying. speak and a multitude of years should teach wisdom. Right. When a man grows in age, he should have some wisdom. He should, right? Yeah, bring it out. Read. And multitude of years should teach wisdom. Uh -huh. But there is a spirit in man. God said, but there's a spirit in man. Read. no understanding. Up. They have it's nothing that they can teach you or bring to your attention. That's not all elders, that's some. But in learning something, Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. This is what you gotta do when you learn it something. So what? Oh, that when you learn it something, in order for you to learn something, bruh, you gotta be quiet. You hear me, bro? I know you talking to the brothers. In order to learn something, you have to be quiet. You gotta close your mouth. What's the saying that they say? You can't learn if you're talking. So, when our people say, I heard this, I know this, you coming in a prideful spirit. When you come before men out here teaching, come humble. Come humble, be quiet. Listen and learn. Read. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 5 and verse 1. Uh -huh. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. Uh -huh. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. Read that again from the top. Verse 1. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God. God says, when you come into the house of God, when this word of God is coming out, this is the house of God right here. Don't like you know everything. Be quiet. Listen. Read. And be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of food. God said be more ready to hear than get a sacrifice of food. Whenever you come to learn something, you got to be quiet. If I'm coming to learn anything, I'm going to be quiet because I don't know. I don't walk up and say, oh, well, I know this. I know that. So when you come up, bro, you got to humble yourself. You got a question, bro? Are you listening? So that's what we was talking about before the brother left. You got to humble yourself. Just like we read, before you got here, we read a scripture. God tell the our people, you must humble yourself. You don't know everything. Give me Zechariah, matter of fact, no, Deuteronomy. Because the brother brought up, vote. Should we vote? That's something that's going on in the earth right now. You had them coming in black folks here, commercials, telling black people, vote, right. vote, vote. Get to the phone. Examine our community. Has our communities changed at all through vote? No, it has not. Brothers still killing each other in Woodlawn. Brothers still killing each other in Inglewood. Brothers still shooting at each other in Rosen. Bring it out. Voting has not helped. Get, think about this. They rally us together, get us to support them, and then kick us to the curb. Right. That's the cycle, every rip. So what we telling our people, it's not voting that's gonna save us, it's not drugs, leave that stuff alone. We must repent and keep God's law. Cause voting ain't gonna change nothing. Every year, we every four years, eight years, whatever it is, we act like it's gonna be something different. Right. We look at these politicians like they saviors or something. Think about that. Where was they at when they was closed in the schools? Community still in poverty. Rat infested, roach infested. Abandoned buildings, vacant lots. Abandoned lots. Where was they at? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 17 and verse 15. Listen to this before you leave. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee, whom the Lord thy God shall choose. Now these men that they telling you run behind, support, God did not set them over you. Y'all got any women? Read it again. Thou God shall choose one from amongst thy brethren. These 
people that set over you, they not a, they not from your brethren, they not from your kindred, they not your people that that's been set over you. Right. Read. Shall thou set king over thee? Uh huh. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee. So when you sit up here supporting, running to these polls, you are asking to set somebody over you that's not of you, that's not of your people, that's not how the interest that your people have. Right. Don't know the pains and the struggles that your people have. None of them do. So I ask, why are we still voting in 2020 when we know it does nothing? Bring it up. We voted when we thought the man previous was gonna do something in 08. Nothing changes. Our communities is still failing. Right. But you got people running and telling us go vote, go to the polls, and it does nothing for us. That's right. Read it again. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brothers. So when you going to go vote, you asking to set a stranger over you that's not of your brothers, who don't give a damn about you. Look up the track record of half these people you vote for. Right. It's clear they do not care about blacks and Hispanics. Bring it up. Come on, man, we gotta wake up. Lamentation 4 and 17. Stop looking for savior, for somebody to save you or a savior from your oppressor. Bring it up. Your oppressor cannot be your savior and your oppressor at the right. same time. It don't work like that. Right. Wake up. Read. This is the book of Lamentations, chapter 4 and verse 17. Bring it up. As for us, our eyes have yet failed for our vain health. Uh-huh. In our watching, we walk, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. Read it again from the top. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Stop. Instead, our eyes fail for our vain help. Our people are crying. Our people are angry. Why? You are disappointed at every turn because you keep trusting in a nation that cares nothing about you. That's right. Wake up. Yeah. How many politicians they gonna put in your face? Right. Motivational speakers, right. reverends, that do nothing for you. You trust in God, don't trust in man. Bring it trust up. in God. Read on. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They want the black and Hispanic vote, but they're not doing nothing for you. Right. They want you to support them, push their agenda, but they're not doing nothing for you. Right. To my so-called Hispanics in the car, I'm not Mexicans in cages right now. What are they doing about it? Nothing. Did you not have a young boy get murdered and left in a field face down? They ain't even investigating them. But you trusted in them. Right. Psalms 118 and verse 8. Stop trusting in your oppressors. Come back to God. That is what we are teaching you today. That's why we come out here today. You must wake up. Stop trusting in man. Right. Trust in God. Right. Read. No. Verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. Read it again. Verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord. It is better to trust in God. Read. Than to put confidence in man. Than to put your confidence in man. trust in the Lord. Repent. Keep God's laws. Right. That's what we need to do as a people. Stop chasing behind every face that they put on the media. They are not going to save you. Bring it up. Read it one more time. Verse 8. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in God than whatever of authority that they 
they put in front of your face. Whatever title that they have. Oh, this is such and such. They did this, they did that. Did nothing for your community. And then you got the egg on your face, you looking crazy when they still don't do anything for you. Right. Check they track record. A lot of these people they telling you to go vote for been oppressing blacks and Hispanics. Do your research. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.